The BDO World Trophy is one of the premier events in the British Darts organisation and this year's event is no exception. Hosted at Blackburn's King George Hall for the first time, the BDO will be crowning a new champion in Lancashire as reigning champion Glenn Durrant departed earlier in the year. Having said that, there are many reasons to look forward to the tournament, so here are five reasons not to miss the BDO World Trophy 2019. Number five. Andy Hamilton back on the stage. Once upon a time, Andy Hamilton was a world beater, a world championship finalist and one of the most feared players in the sport. After bowing out early in the 2019 BDO World Championships, the Hammer returned to the big stage in Blackburn. Ranked number 14 this time around, Hamilton will take on reigning world master Adam smith Neal in the opening round. The Stoke-on-Trent born thrower reached the Isle of Man Open final earlier in the season, but will be looking to secure his first title in the BDO. Smith Neal struggled in this year's Premier event due to a serious leg injury just weeks previous, but Big Dog is back to full health as he takes on one of the tournament's big hitters. Number 4. Last Chance Qualifiers Last Chance Qualifiers are always a thrilling way to qualify for any major tournament, never mind one of the biggest in the BDO. There are plenty of names in the lineup heading to Blackburn hoping to qualify this time around. One of those names is believed to be Ted Hankey. Hankey, one of the BDO's most popular names in his prime, has been missing from our screens for a good few years now, but is targeting a return to the World Championships in 2020. He will be looking to get the ball rolling in Blackburn this August as he attempts to qualify for his first major since returning to the hockey. Number 3. Dave Parletti vs Martin Clearmacher Going into the tournament, Martin Clearmacher is arguably one of the form players having won three events in the last six months. The Dutchman tied up the West Fries Open and Masters doubleheader in March before taking the jackpot at the Welsh Open two months later. The Dutch giant will be making his debut in the World Trophy this time around against another in-form thrower in Dave Parletti. The architect made his lakeside bow in 2019, but has never featured in the prestigious World Trophy event. If this one goes to form, we could be in for one hell of an encounter. Number 2. Mikuru Suzuki vs Fallon Sherrick It's almost funny how unkind the draw has been to these two ladies this time around, in a match that pitches the current ladies world champion against the reigning world trophy holder, we see two of the finest female players in the game clash at the King George Hall in round one. Sherrick, a former world finalist in her own right, was desperately close to breaking the ton plus average barrier 12 months ago as she defeated Lorraine Wynne Stanley in the final. Japanese sensation Makuru Suzuki stands in her way this time around and it's practically impossible to split these two. Suzuki was crowned the Dutch Open champion earlier in the season, as well as making the final in Denmark. Could she add the World Trophy to her ever-growing list of honours as she continues to take the BDO by storm? And number one, plenty of new faces. Ever since the departure of five senior BDO officials, there has been plenty of expectation to who will be replacing them. Three weeks before the event, the BDO announced that Paul Booth will be taking over as Master of Ceremonies. He was shortly joined by John Fowler, Gavin Roderick, Josh Clough, Harry Smith and then Kerry Crompton in taking over the refereeing duties in the BDO, starting with the World Trophy. There has been much anticipation as to how the new faces will adapt to the life of a live broadcast and it could be a real turning point for the BDO if they perform how I'm sure they can. We will see what the players and callers alike can produce in the live BDO World Trophy Finals from the 30th of August with the tournament concluding on the 1st of September at the King George Hall in Blackburn.